This incredibly meaty chili contains no beef, and really, I don't think anybody would know. And I'm being 100% honest here. You, you can try it yourself. Now, this is made out of textured protein. Textured protein, I've talked about a lot on the channel. Normally, I just focus on one particular recipe. I mean, today I am. We're gonna be making some chili, but that's not the point of this. The point is how incredibly versatile textured protein can be, because we're not just gonna be using one textured protein like I would normally do. We're gonna use them all. Well, just all of the ones that I happen to have. Textured protein is not the same as like the fake meats that you see in the grocery store, the Beyond or Impossible. Those are loaded up with the billions of ingredients, the ones that you make fun of me for using sometimes. But this is just plain protein. It's literally just made out of soy protein or really any other. There's lots of different ones. There, this textured protein here is made using pea protein. The one that you're gonna find mostly is made out of soy. And if you're afraid of soy, I have a video for you that I just got done with over here that's gonna explain of why your, your fears are, are pointed in the wrong direction. And it's cheaper. I've seen it sold cheaper than $2 a pound, on average about $2.50 to $3 a pound. Now with textured proteins, you don't just have the ground. That's what most people are familiar with, and that's what like Beyond and Impossible are made of. But you also have these big chunks. It's very similar to the new Beyond steak. So with this chili, I'm gonna be using all of the textures that I have. I have chunks, ground, and I have these big strips here. Now if you're adding them to a sauce or anything like that, it, like the chili that I'm making today, you can just leave them completely plain and just add them into the sauce or chili and let them cook up and hydrate with whatever you're cooking. That will work and they'll come out really great. Think of just kind of like plain chicken. If you don't season it like anything, it tastes like nothing. It's pretty much what textured protein's like. So for this, I am gonna season it up just to give it kind of like a slightly beefy flavor. It's not gonna be much, but it's gonna have enough to, to change it when it's in the pot of chili. And that's just gonna be a little bit of soy sauce some vegetable broth. I'm gonna add a little extra water just to top it up and allow these to hydrate up. Now this part's completely unnecessary, but I'm gonna add a little bit of yeast extract and, and that's just this like Vegemite or Marmite. It's like a really meaty taste. I, I mean, it's incredible how beefy it is. If you've never tried it, I mean, try it out. It's wild. You could like, it's like spreading steak on a toast. Textured protein only needs about a half an hour to hydrate. I'm going to let it sit for that half hour and just prep the rest of the chili ingredients. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. So gang, I've talked about this before. I've had my identity stolen. I've been hacked. It is a nightmare. I don't wish it upon anyone, especially you. And that's why I want to tell you about today's sponsor. Aura is an easy to use app that includes everything you need to stay safe online. Aura protects you from scammers and hackers by scanning the so-called dark web. That's where criminals go to sell and buy stolen information. They're looking for email addresses, passwords, social security numbers, and Aura alerts you fast if it finds anything. They also help you fight back against those annoying websites that make your personal information public just by asking to remove it. And Aura gives you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries. Like if someone was opening a loan or a credit card in your name. And their VPN allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your browsing history and personal information safe and encrypted. And they protect your devices from viruses, malware, spyware, and more so the bad guys can't break in. And Aura can even help you manage what your kids can do on their devices with restrictions, screen time limits, and more. Along with a password manager. Now I had a bunch of different apps that I used to use, I was able to scale down to one app and I feel really good about it. If you sign up right now, or will give you a two week free trial if you use my link. You'll be shocked. It's scary how much information they'll find on you in two weeks. So go to aura.com slash sauce dash to start your free trial. It's linked in the description below. Aura, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for keeping Monica and I safe online. And we're back. Let's start making the chili. So I'm just gonna start with my Dutch oven with a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. Well, a decent amount of olive oil, actually. We'll toss that onto a low heat and I'm gonna use about a half of a large onion or like maybe like a whole medium onion. So just toss that into the oil, stir it around, let that cook down. We're gonna let that get opaque. And then we're just gonna add a whole green pepper. And I'm gonna add maybe one or two finely chopped chili peppers. That's really gonna add to the flavor of this. Now I'm just gonna toss the lid on this. That way that chili pepper doesn't like aerosol and get my eyes all crazy watery. And then we're going to let that cook for just a few minutes. Now, it's been about a half hour. The textured protein is fairly hydrated up. I mean, and it's it's it, it feels like beef. I mean, at this point, I mean, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm holding a little tiny chunk of beef. Now, when you tear it apart, it tears just like meat as well. So the peppers and onions are cooked at this point. So I'm just going to kind of stir these up and I'm just going to pour the broth right over the onions here and just kind of allow that to soak in. Then we're just going to pour in the rest of the textured protein. Let that cook down. Let that all cook together for just a bit. I mean, look at this combination and tell me this does not look like a meaty dish. I mean, I, I, I don't understand how people shun this stuff for food. It's incredibly good. So we're going to allow that to simmer out for a bit and then I'm going to add some garlic and then my, my little trick for making everything taste better is just to top it with a little bit of tomato paste. About a tablespoon of tomato paste is going to give you a similar effect by adding a little pinch of MSG. You're just adding some glutamate. So I'm going to stir the tomato paste in, allow that to cook down. Cook that tomato paste. That's going to really bring out those savory flavors. Now for the rest of the chili, you can use your own chili recipe. I mean, that's just the base is pretty simple. I'm going to be using about a tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of cumin, 
in about a tablespoon of brown sugar, some salt. We're just gonna add in a little bit of garlic powder, stir that up. Then I'm gonna add in about a cup and a half of vegetable broth, some cubed tomatoes, and then some tomato sauce. Just stir that up, throw the lid on, let that cook. And I know I keep saying this, but it really is impressive with how meaty this non-meat chili is. Now, this only needs about 30 or 40 minutes, and then once it's done, I'm just gonna add in my beans. Now, you can add what beans you like. I'm using a can of drained kidney beans. I'm also gonna add a little bit of oregano. Now, this is where it gets a little weird because we're only gonna cook these for a few minutes. Normally with beans, you wanna follow about 30 minutes. 30 minutes is about the time it takes for the bean to flavor up and cook down and, and really just take on what you want it to do in a soup. But here, there's a restaurant in Florida that used to sell cold chili, and it was like one of my favorite things. So Monica and I are not having this for dinner tonight, although it did just sneak in a taste. I'm gonna package this up, throw it in the fridge, and allow those beans and that fake meat and everything to just all kind of gather up all of those flavors, and then we're gonna have it tomorrow as cold chili for lunch. Mmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this supposed to be cold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's supposed to be cold. Usually I have chili and it's hot, so. No, no, no. We're doing, I'm doing the cold chili from the pl the vegan place that closed down. They sold cold chili. Dandelion, that's Dandelion. right. Mm -hmm. They're really super good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now try to find one of the, there's a bunch of different, there's yeah. like little bits of ground beef. There's big chunks, oh, little chunks. a big chunk. There we go. Mmm. Meaty, right? Mm -hmm. Very meaty. Tastes like. Tastes like meat. meat. It tastes like a piece of meat, a little piece of steak, a steak mm -hmm. tip. Mmm. That's what it tastes like to me. I mean, I don't know that this isn't meat, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm, it's got a meaty bite, a meaty texture. It tears in your mouth. Yeah. Um, it's firm. It's delicious. That's all I can say. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Mm -hmm. So, that's the thing. Like, most people make a lot of these recipes where, you know, they're just throwing steak or beef or chicken or whatever into it. When really, that's the easiest meat to replace. Like the stuff that's in stuff. And you can replace that with textured protein. But I know for a fact that if you had this chili with the textured protein, there is not a single meat eater that would second guess this. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel confident you can enter this into a meat yeah. chili competition. Mm -hmm. Me too. And do well. I actually was wondering what this was. I didn't know if it was like impossible, beyond. So this is just textured protein. That's all it is. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah. I would think this was meat. And I'd yeah. be like, oh, you serve me meat. Yeah. Like, accidentally. Mm. Really good. And, and it could be a chicken, it could be a beef, mm -hmm. it could be whatever you want to flavor it as. That's true. You know, if you leave it plain and just toss it in something, it's gonna mimic chicken really well. Make some chili. No, seriously, it's really good, baby. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. I like this. Even though it got burnt, it's still... Mmm, mm, delicious.